The 2005 P. Oregon Quarter is part of the 50 State Quarter Series issued by the U.S. Mint. This series commemorates each state in the Union with a unique design. The Oregon Quarter, released in 2005, showcases the state's rich natural beauty in history. Like other coins in the series, it has been subject to various errors and varieties, which can significantly influence its value to collectors. This overview explores the key errors, varieties, and values associated with the 2005 P. Oregon Quarter. Design Overview The 2005 P. Oregon Quarter features a depiction of Crater Lake, with a coniferous tree in the foreground and a banner reading, Oregon, and, the Beaver State, inscribed. The reverse side includes the image of a mountain lake surrounded by trees and the inscription, Crater Lake. The coin's design highlights Oregon's natural beauty, aligning with the state's theme of preserving natural wonders. Common Errors and Varieties 1. Die Cracks and Cuds Die cracks, these are lines or cracks on the coin's surface caused by imperfections in the die used to strike the coin. On the 2005 P. Oregon Quarter, die cracks can sometimes be found extending from the lettering or design elements. Cuds Cuds are raised areas on the coin where metal has filled a void in the die. They appear as irregular, raised blobs on the surface of the coin. These can sometimes be found on the Oregon Quarter, particularly near the design elements like Crater Lake or the Conifer Tree. 2. Double Die Errors Double die errors occur when the coin is struck by a die that has been misaligned or doubled during the minting process. This results in doubled images or lettering. Examples of double die errors on the Oregon Quarter can be subtle, but close inspection of the text and design elements can sometimes reveal this error. 3. Misplaced Mint Marks Although the 2005 P. Oregon Quarter does not have a mint mark on the obverse or reverse, errors related to misplaced or incorrect mint marks are not common for this particular coin. However, it's worth noting that mint mark errors are more commonly associated with quarters struck at the Denver Mint, where the mint mark is present. 4. Planchet Errors Planchet errors occur when the coin is struck on a defective or irregularly shaped planchet. These can include coins that are off-center or have incomplete strikes. On the 2005 P. Oregon Quarter, planchet errors might result in coins that show missing elements of the design or have an unusual shape. 5. Strike-throughs and foreign objects Strike-through errors happen when foreign objects, such as debris or metal shavings, are trapped between the die and the coin during minting. This can leave marks or impressions on the coin's surface. These errors on the Oregon Quarter can be distinctive, depending on the object that caused the strike-through. Values of the 2005 P. Oregon Quarter The value of a 2005 P. Oregon Quarter can vary significantly based on its condition and the presence of errors or varieties. The coin's value is largely influenced by its rarity and demand among collectors. 1. Circulated Examples In average circulated condition, a 2005 P. Oregon Quarter is worth its face value of 25 cents. However, even in circulated condition, coins with notable errors or varieties can command higher prices. 2. Uncirculated Examples In uncirculated condition, the value of the 2005 P. Oregon Quarter typically ranges from $1 to $5. The exact value depends on the coin's grade, with higher grades, such as MS65 or above, fetching higher prices. 3. Error Coins Error coins can be worth significantly more than standard examples. The value of error coins depends on the type of error and its visibility. For instance, a 2005 P. Oregon quarter with a significant double die or a prominent die crack might be worth between $10 and $100 or more. Rare or exceptionally well-preserved examples of errors can command premium prices. 4. Varieties and high-grade examples Coins with unique varieties or those in pristine condition, e.g., MS66 or higher, can also be valued higher. High-grade examples without errors but in exceptional condition might be valued around $5 to $15. Collecting Tips 
1. Condition matters, the condition of the coin is crucial. Coins that are well preserved with minimal wear or damage are generally more valuable. When examining a coin, consider factors like luster, scratches, and overall appearance. 2. Verify errors. For collectors interested in error coins, it's important to verify the authenticity of the error. Consulting with reputable coin dealers or grading services can help confirm whether an error is genuine and assess its potential value. 3. Research and documentation. Keeping up to date with current values and market trends is important. Resources like coin price guides, online auction sites, and collector forums can provide valuable insights into the current market value of specific coins and errors. 4. Professional grading. If you believe you have a high-value error coin, consider having it professionally graded by services such as the Numismatic Guarantee Corporation, NGC, or the Professional Coin Grading Service, PCGS. A professional grade can significantly impact the coin's market value. Conclusion The 2005 P. Oregon Quarter, while part of a regular issue, holds interest for collectors due to its design and the potential for errors and varieties. The value of these quarters can range from face value to significantly higher amounts depending on their condition and the presence of any errors. Collectors should be diligent in examining their coins and staying informed about market trends to make the most of their collections.